The world's climate is significantly changing. Higher temperatures and longer periods of drought are now common in Europe. A changing climate is hard for everyone, particularly if you are growing crops for food. This is a major concern because farmers can't supply the food we need at the prices we are used to. So how do we solve the problem? We can learn from crops that tolerate extreme weather conditions and can grow in a range of locations with different environments. Camelina sativa is one of those crops. Camelina can grow in many different places and is able to adapt to tough conditions, high temperatures and drought conditions. Farmers have used this crop since ancient times. Camelina seeds are rich in nutritionally healthy omega-3 oils and useful proteins. This makes camelina interesting for farmers, as well as for food and feed producers. Right now, we do not know why camelina is resilient to extreme conditions. The work done in Untwist will answer this question. Researchers from across Europe have come together to understand how a plant can survive drought and heat. In Untwist, we grow and test camelina in greenhouses and fields in different locations across Europe. This means we can work out the mechanisms that allow camelina to survive in different environments, create models to predict how camelina adapts to different climate conditions now and in the future, develop new tools and ways for farmers to grow camelina, establish a huge library of data and provide access to researchers, farmers and producers to better understand the resilience mechanism of camelina and apply it in other crops. Camelina will show us how we can learn to farm and produce food in a changing climate, enabling European agriculture to keep growing. Untwist brings together research institutes, industries and associations from several European countries. Visit Untwist online, subscribe to the newsletters, and follow the project on Twitter and LinkedIn. This project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme.